My brothers and sisters, a passionate call from this pulpit of this house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have come here because Allah loves you. You would not be in this house of Allah had you not had a good link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he put it in your heart to come to his house because he loves you and because you have a link with him, my brothers and sisters. So feel that link. Consider yourselves people who are fortunate to be in the house of your own maker. This house is not known as mine, nor yours, nor is it known as the house belonging to the Imam or anyone else. It is the house of my maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is known as Baytullah, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, what an honor to be in the house of Allah. I am a brother of yours reminding myself and yourselves. Let's turn to Allah. As I said, we have no guarantee we will see another month of Ramadan. My brothers and sisters, some of us have children, some of us have family members, some of us are married, we have spouses, we have greater responsibilities. How have you been treating your spouse? How have you been spending time with your children? Remember, our duty as Muslimin is to hand over the torch of Iman to our next generation so that when we die, they will continue worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are still dilly dallying in our own sins and we have not turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do we expect our children and family members to turn to Allah when Allah says, Ya Oh, you who believe, save yourselves and your family members from the fire. The fire that shall be kindled by men and stone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that fire. And this is why the dua of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he asked for goodness, he used to say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab nar Oh Allah, grant us goodness in this world. We all want goodness. Everyone wants to earn. We all want beautiful deals. We all want money. We all want wealth. We all want a good home and good conveyance. We all want good clothing and a good scent and so on. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. The dua includes that. Oh Allah, grant us goodness in the dunya. But that will be of no use if we were to die having forgotten. And oh Allah, grant us goodness in the life after. Grant us goodness in the akhirah, the hereafter. When I die, I want goodness. My brothers and sisters, the currency of the life after is not the dollar or the rand or the ringgit. No, the currency of the life after is known as the deeds that you engage in. So convert your health whilst you are healthy into good deeds. Convert your money that you have in this world whilst you have it into good deeds. Convert the goodness that you have, your young age and your ability that you have, your free time that you have, convert it into deeds so that you can amass the currency that will help you when you get to your grave, my brothers and sisters. This is the currency. And we have the month of Ramadan where this currency is being dished out and it's being given wholesale to us. Allah says, you engage in one good deed, I will multiply it for you. You have engaged in it whilst you were fasting. You have engaged in it in the blessed month of Ramadan whilst you were fasting. The condition of salah in the month of Ramadan is such that the reward is multiplied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us through the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fasting is for me and I will recompense it and reward it myself. Which means the reward of fasting is not only multiplied tenfold, but up to 70 fold going to 700 fold and beyond because Allah loves us.